One in 10 voters who cast their ballot in November are said to be voting for the first time in years. That's according to Reuters polling. Who's their pick? Well, many of the so-called lost voters say they have found their voice in Donald Trump. Matthew Cottonetti is the editor-in-chief of the Washington Free Beacon. How are you doing, Matthew? And good morning and welcome back here to America's Newsroom. Here's what Reuters found. New Republican independent voters support for Trump among new voters, 27.3%. That's the figure. What's a lost voter? A lost voter bill is a voter, maybe a Republican, maybe an independent, maybe even a Democrat, who has felt detached from the political process over the last two decades. They were supporters of Ross Perot in 92. They were supporters of Pat Buchanan in 92, 96. And now it seems like they're leaning heavily toward Trump because of his positions on trade, because of his positions on immigration, and even, I think, because of his positions on foreign policy kind of a repudiation of the Bush-Romney years uh, in the GOP. Okay, you wrote on Friday, right, is Donald Trump's race to lose? That's your piece, right? And there piece. are only four people who can stop him. Who That's are they? Right. Well, the, at the top of the list is Ted Cruz. We just heard from Carl Cameron. It's really coming down to a Cruz-Trump race in Iowa and New Hampshire. Then I think you have the two other more establishment picks in Chris Christie and Marco Rubio, who if they place well in New Hampshire, could make it a three-way race. And then finally, the fourth and final person who could possibly stop Donald Trump is a Democrat, Hillary Clinton. Because the way I see the race going now, it's Trump's to lose. And that doesn't mean he, he can't or even won't lose it, but it does mean that he's going to have to be challenged somehow. Right now, on the Republican if, side, it's Cruz challenging him. If you would admit these voters show up, and that's, that, that's why you play the game, right? Ten days, uh, two weeks from now. Um, political over the weekend had an intriguing piece. I don't know if you agree with this or not, but on screen it says this. Trump's electoral strength and his staying power have been buoyed, uh, above all, by Americans with, with authoritarian inclinations. And because of the prevalence of authoritarians in the American electorate, among Democrats as well as Republicans, it's very possible that Trump's fan base will continue to grow. Interpret that. And do well, you I think agree? A, I think a lot of it is psychobabble, authoritarian inclinations. I don't know what that, that means, what the, how they define the term. What I do know is that if you talk to Trump supporters, they like him because they think he's a strong leader. And they also like the fact that he's not afraid to say what's on his mind. Then when you ask him, well, how is he going to run the government? The voters often say that he'll hire the right people. I think it's for those reasons, plus the policy positions, that the disaffected voters are very strong for Trump. The question is, will they show up? Indeed. Matthew, good to have you on. Matthew Cotton from the, uh, the Washington Free Beacon there in our nation's capital. Thanks. We'll talk again.